Namaste friends. In last video, we understood the basics of ecological footprint. In this video, we will see multiple footprint calculator options and how we can calculate our ecological footprint. We have already seen what is ecological footprint, its unit and origin. If you have no idea about this concept, we would recommend to watch the earlier video first. You can see link for the video at top right corner of the screen now. Ecological footprint analysis measures the aggregate land area required for a given population to exist in a sustainable manner. We require 1.69 earths to fulfill our global needs of humans. Each year we are consuming global average of 2.75 global hectares per person. Though this is world average and doesn't tell specifically what your or my actual ecological footprint is. There are many resources to check our personal contribution for this ecological footprint. In fact, as we have discussed in last video, ecological footprint is an umbrella concept and many specific footprints are developed under it according to our focus area. You can find below online footprint options and resources. First, ecological footprint by global footprint network. Second, carbon footprint calculator by conservation.org. Third, carbon footprint calculator by nature conservancy. Fourth, environmental footprint by WWF, the World Wildlife Fund for Nature. Fifth, water footprint network. This list is not exhaustive, but this will give you a fair idea about variety of footprints and online calculator options available. Links to these all are given in the description. We will see the ecological footprint calculation in this video. This is footprintcalculator.org by Global Footprint Network. And we have to take the first step. We have to click here. To, uh, we have to put email address. I'll put sustainability.simplyput at the red gmail.com and submit. Here multiple questions will appear and we have to answer them correctly according to our diet or according to our lifestyle. So first question is about food. How often do you eat animal based products? Includes beef, pork, chicken, fish, eggs and dairy products. So if someone eats occasionally, often, very often or never, so he can select according to that. So let's say a person is vegetarian, eats eggs and dairy but no meat. So he can uh, also we can add details to improve the accuracy so here as you can see it is selected beef lamb never pork never poultry never fish and shellfish never if someone eats that then he can add infrequently occasionally often very often so right i'll select back it to never and eggs cheese and dairy so according to the consumption he can select then save this right arrow will take us to next question. So second question is how much of the food that you eat is unprocessed, unpackaged or locally grown? So less than 320 kilometers or 200 miles away. So if you live in a farm side or in a, in a small cities, so that can be high because there you can get locally grown food. But if you live in big cities, metro cities, then this percentage will be far less so let's say it's around 20 percent also you can add accuracy right next which housing type best describes your home is it freestanding with no running water freestanding running water multi-story apartment duplex row house or building with two to four housing units or luxury condominium so i'm going to select it multi-story apartment and next which material is your house constructed with is it wood of dope, straw and bamboo, brick or concrete, steel and other. So I'm going to select it brick and concrete. And next, how many people live in your household? So you can select according to your family size. Let's say it's two and the size of the house. Let's say it's around 2000 square feet. Then next. Housing. Do you have electricity in your home? So it's selected. Yes, that's right. And how energy efficient is your home? So you can select according to 
be a house let's say it's average and again you can select on this i to get additional information about question and next right uh, what percentage of your home's electricity comes from renewable sources either directly or through purchase green power so by clicking here you, we will get additional information that about 14 percent of global primary energy consumption came from renewable hydro and nuclear in the year 2016 so according to that uh, you can select this so let's say it's around 20 percent and next compared to your neighbors how much trash do you generate so you can select say more much more or much less right so i think let's select same but again here you can improve your accuracy right so we can enter details over here so it, is it about clothing and footwear so we can adjust over here household appliances electronics gadgets then books magazines we can adjust here so paper do you recycle paper we can adjust yeah most plastic none so sorry yeah some so and we have to save and this right arrow next question and again on this top bar this orange highlighted bar will tell us how many questions we have attempted and how much is left to answer so how far do you travel by car or motorcycle each week as a driver or passenger so let's say with car someone this person travels let's say 300 kilometers in a week and with bike not so much let's select 50 kilometers and let's select let's select next then what is the average fuel economy of the vehicle you use most often so is it inefficient let's say the vehicle is somewhat efficient uh, six liters per hundred kilometers five liters yeah okay and the bike is more efficient let's say it's two liter per hundred kilometers and next when you travel by car how often do you carpool let's say this person carpools often then we can select it often right and then next how far do you travel on public transportation each week so is it as 100 200 kilometers we can select according to our condition so let's select here i'll select 50 kilometers and next how many hours do you fly each year so i'm going to select here 50 hours let's see now what is the result so according to our selections we are using 4.1 hours right and here is the average country's uh, consumption level so usa uh, the average value is 5 hours germany 3.2 china 2.1 south africa 2 and brazil 1.1 so if everyone lived like you then we would need 4.1 hours so right and also on this bottom and so we can see our result details categories right so here uh, is the consumption by category so uh, in this calculation we get that we are having seven global hectares ecological footprint right so the contribution is 0.8 global hectares from foot 0.9 from shelter 2.8 from mobility one from goods and 1.5 from services so with this report we get that our most of the uh, footprint is coming from mobility so if we can switch over some eco-friendly option then it would get reduced substantially and uh, while talking about our carbon footprint around 13 tons of co2 emissions per year are our carbon footprint and around 64 percent of our total ecological footprint is contributed by carbon footprint you can see over here in this pie chart its majority is carbon footprint right so this will give us the uh, 
broad view how we can where we can focus and also these are some of the solutions that we can focus on about city energy food population and planet so some of the activities we can learn more over here by clicking here and there's eco-friendly options we can adopt in our lives so now we know how to calculate our personal ecological footprint through global footprint network ecological footprint calculator please do calculate your ecological footprint and let us know in comment section your score and what changes are you going to incorporate in your life to live more environment friendly all links for footprint calculators are given in the video description and finally thank you so much for your valuable time please like share and subscribe and hit bell icon to get notified of our next video